Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to the Daily Compliance News. The Daily Compliance News is an offering of the Compliance Podcast Network. October 16th, 2019, the Doobie Brothers nominated for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame edition. First up, has the Trump administration in the form of Jay Clayton gutted the PCAOB? In a very interesting article in the Wall Street Journal, uh, the audit watchdog is plagued by internal strife and as uh, set out by a multi-party, multi-page whistleblower complaint that was filed with the board in May. Uh, this had been not previously reported. The SEC has appointed former agency chairman Harvey Pitt to review the PCALB's corporate governance. Arthur Levitt, uh, also a former SEC chairman, said he was concerned about the developments at the regulators. He said the PCAOB, depending on the people who are part of it, can be enormously important or it can be a totally worthless political jumping ground. In my sense, it's being politicized. Um, if you'd like some more information on this, uh, check out the uh, everything, excuse me, the Compliance Into the Weeds podcast that Matt Kelly and I uh, do this week. It uh, releases on Wednesday, uh, October 16th, and we detail two of the recent appointees by made by Jay Clayton uh, for the uh, PCAOB, which makes it pretty clear that uh, he is not concerned about having any sort of full representation or even qualified people on the board of the PCAOB. It's a critical regulatory agency for investor confidence, and uh, it's not really co- clear why uh, Clayton wants to gut it, but uh, the Wall Street Journal suggests it's in deep trouble. Uh, Next up, I think everyone is probably familiar with the imbroglio the NBA has gotten into uh, in China, but it turns out that uh, the NFL actually crossed this bridge with China over 15 years ago. It happened during a Super Bowl, the 2004 Super Bowl, made most famous by the infamous wardrobe malfunction and the Justin Timberlake, Janet Jackson performance, and That's not what upset the Chinese, because apparently uh, that is not something uh, that they were afraid of seeing. But the problem was, during the halftime show, there was a minute-long montage aired that meant to be an innocuous tribute to freedom that would encourage people to vote. Including in this segment was the iconic photo of a dissident student standing in front of tanks leaving Tiananmen Square after the 1989 protests in Beijing. It was an image that had been virtually scrubbed from China until it shockingly appeared on the Super Bowl broadcast. Uh, Based on this um, just blip, uh, relations between the NFL and China uh, really went uh, down to next to nothing. So uh, it shows that uh, when you cross one of these uh, red lines in China, things can be very difficult for you on a business basis. Next up in the Financial Times, they report and a speech by uh, South African President Cecil Ramaphosa. He uh, said that the country is actively fighting the corruption that plagued it from the prior president, uh, President Zuma, and that the corruption of Zuma and his cronies, most notably the Gupta brothers, cost South Africa, uh, he estimates, some $34 billion or perhaps even higher in lost business opportunity, lost tax revenue, uh, and just a general business belay. So uh, what is the cost of corruption? Well, in South Africa, it's pretty high. And then finally, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, nominations have been announced, and the Doobie Brothers have been uh, nominated this year. Last year, we saw the Moody Blues get in, uh, one of my favorite groups, and the Doobs are right up there. So if you grew up in the uh, 70s, the Doobie Brothers were huge on the musical landscape. I certainly hope that they are able to secure admission into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In my book, uh, they deserve it as much as anybody. They've been rocking uh, quite some time. So uh, if you have the chance, vote for the Doobie Brothers uh, early and often to be uh, inducted into this year's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Hope you enjoy it and uh, check out your favorite Doobie Brothers songs to inspire you going forward. Thanks for listening to the Daily Compliance News, and I hope you have a great weekend.